I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Confession and absolution in six minutes. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, if you love us passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. We could use in higher things. We need your help to continue to pass the faith to the next generation. We need your gifts today. If you want to see this ministry continue, give today. All right. So we're going to start the clock. Five minutes. She's going to put the time there. It's going to tick down. Can I do absolution in six minutes? Go. The proof text for for holy absolution is John 20, 22 and following. When he said this, he breathed on them. The same breath he breathed into Adam, he breathed onto his disciples. The disciples, that's his 12, the 11, the 11. He breathed on them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. It is just that simple. Can a man forgive sins? Yes. John 20. 22 and 23. Also, Matthew 16 to Peter, Matthew 18 verses, put it there. Um, also, why, why do we need such a thing? Well, because um, the Lord would have you confess your sins to one another and receive healing. He would have you come clean with him and his law to confess his to homo legain, to same say, and so he would have you same say with what he says. You're a sinner. I'm a sinner. You've done these sins. I've done those sins. You need forgiveness for them. I need forgiveness from them. Confession has two parts. First, that you confess your sins. And second, that you receive absolution. That is forgiveness from the pastor as from God himself. Not doubting, but firmly believing that by it, the absolution spoken by your pastor, our sins are forgiven before God in heaven. Well, what sins should you confess before God? Well, you should confess plead guilty before before God of all sins, as you do in the Lord's Prayer. Before the pastor, you only plead guilty of those sins you know and feel in your hearts. So this, can you confess to God? Yes. Well, what's the purpose of absolution? Well, after you've confessed to God, if you still feel like you are a, like some sin is going to damn you, that something you've done is going to send you to hell, well, you have a place, a God-given place, a John 20, Matthew 16, Mark... Matthew 18 place where you can come clean of your sins and receive forgiveness. And the pastor's not involved in those sins. He promises never ever to reveal your sins to anyone. And so you have a place to drop your sin, your filth off and receive forgiveness. Um, how does this work? Well, the office of the keys is that peculiar church power, which Christ has given to his church on earth to forgive the sins of repentant sinners, to retain the sins of the unrepentant as long as they do not repent. And so this is about you receiving comfort. Absolution is considered the very voice of the gospel. So you receive comfort and peace and forgiveness from hearing from someone in the stead and by the command of Jesus that your sins are forgiven you. What about the other side? Your sins are retained. Well, that's excommunication. When you don't repent of your sins, when you want to hold on to your sins, when you want to keep what you've done away from God's forgiveness, no, no that God is going to send his pastor to, do, to speak to you a reality of your situation. You are not forgiven. And you are going to hell for what you've done. Why should you go to confession? For comfort, for peace, for, for mercy from God. Do you need to? No. But Luther says this, when I ask you to, to, conf to go to confession, I'm asking you to be a Christian. That's in the large catechism. So this is about comfort. This is about peace. This is about you never having a bad night, looking up at the ceiling, wondering whether you're forgiven or not. And your pastor has sworn in vows that he will not reveal your sin to anyone. Well, what if he knows I'm a sinner? Well, he already knows that you're a sinner. What if he knows I've done that particular sin? Well, he already knows that particular sin. So here's how it's going to go. You're going to sit down. You're going to unload what you've done. And there's a liturgy for it. It's in the hymnal because this is Lutheran. You're going to unload what, you're going to, what you've done. 
receive forgiveness. Well, can any Christian an announce absolution for me? Yes. Why a pastor? Because the pastor's not involved. Your, your friend may bring it up again, but your pastor has sworn never to bring it up again. So the first thing you should do when you sit down to talk to your pastors are, are you going to reveal my sins? If he hesitates at all, say, hey, look, it's been nice talking to you. I'll ha have a nice day. But if he doesn't, then you have a, a true faithful pastor who says he's going to go to the grave with your thing, with your sins, so that you would receive forgiveness. That's what this is all about. So that you can be certain that by the absolution spoken by your pastor, Christ has spoken to you. He who hears you, hears me, Luke 10, 16. That's it. That's absolution in six minutes. Plunk. Well, five minutes. I had an extra minute with a minute to spare. I'm Pastor George Borkhart and to Sleeping Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.